Sophie from English Solution and you are still watching Speak Up on Service TV and today is really special for me because uh, I'm here with someone really um, great for oh, me because thank you yeah because uh, you know he is the CEO of the English Institution it's uh, Dania Edu House right yeah okay so now before we start our discussion today I will introduce um, someone beside me mm -hmm. yes this is Mr. Ian, right? Right. Okay, so yeah. Mr. Ian, before that, please uh, introduce yourself, right? Right, so, hey, hello, hello. Good morning, viewer. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Ian English. I'm one of the CEO of Ghania Education House, the institutions that really focus on accelerated English learning. Right. Is that is that you know? right? Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So Ian English. Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, why do you put English after your name? It's very really interesting. Well, well, honestly, my real name is actually Sophia. Ah, Ian Sophia. In order to match our activities in the business English area, so I put English for uh, the last name, the last ah, name. Okay. So I I change Sophia into English in order to make me uh, oh, in order to make people are uh, um, familiar with me, oh, familiar right? and with my business activities ah sure so it's uh, english is related to your um, sure. to your life a bit right now because yeah <laughs> it can be so it can yeah. be so yeah you are this you know english institution and mm -hmm. um, maybe people will um, know you so well with your Hopefully so. Yeah. Hopefully so. Yeah. But Hopefully. the most interesting thing is uh, Mr. Ian always wear ikat, yeah. Ah, um, okay. Right? <laughs> sure. That's for the identity, right? Mm -hmm. Because to me, it, it's really important for for us now to have our own identity, ah, really. Yes. So that's why I come from um, what is it, Bandung? I'm a real Sundanese, mm -hmm. and um, I wear Sundanese clothes. So sometimes everywhere I go, really. Ah, so it's it's nice anyway. Yeah, okay. cool. So even though Mr. Ian speak English and mm -hmm. uh, his life is related to English, but yeah. he doesn't want to lose the identity as sure. a Sundanese people. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Cool. Okay. Now we're going to dig deeper about uh, the program mm -hmm. that Mr. Ian have yeah. in. Ghanaian House, yeah? Right. I heard that you create the a good uh, program in Ghanaian House, right? Sure. It's sure. Uh, English for entrepreneur, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. As we know that uh, today, maybe English is really uh, important. Exactly. Especially for entrepreneur, right? Exactly. Because we have the economic ASEAN community mm -hmm. economy, right? Yeah. And, uh, in the last 2015, uh, 15. right? And it's already started right sure, now. Sure. Cool. And yes, uh, please yeah. um, explain about your program English in Entrepreneur. Right, since uh, you early mentioned it about our program, um, if we talk about Ghana Education House, it's actually we have a bigger program. But since Ghana's program is divided into three main programs, we focus on fast track English, fast track success, and fast track community. And here, I would love to tell you more about our main specific program is uh, the category of fast track English is actually entrepreneur English camp. Uh, entrepreneur Sorry, camp. English for entrepreneur, English right? For entrepreneur. Because entrepreneur English camp is actually the category uh, of the event. Category. Okay, so that's but I'll be talking more about English for entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Why do we need to talk more about it? I agree with what you said, mm -hmm. Sophie. Before that, um, some of businessmen are not ready yet to face the e ASEAN economic era. Ah, right. Right. So uh, our tagline of our tagline of English for entrepreneur is be the global enterprise with English mastery. Right, so, but somehow it's it's actually up to you, mm -hmm. up to businessmen, up to entrepreneur is, itself, whether you like to take about uh, uh, the challenge, opportunity, 
or would you like to take as the enemy of yourself really? Oh, okay. But uh, we suggested to take it as a, as an opportunity, really. yeah. right? To face the the mayor itself. Mm, okay. Really. So uh, the point is, you make this program for uh, entrepreneur yeah. who wants to face. Uh, what is that, Maya? Yeah. Sure. Like or dislike, ready or not ready, must be ready. Okay. Really? So yes, entrepreneur must. Uh, what is that mean? Yeah, sure. English actually, yeah. Sure. sure. Actually, it's English, right? Uh -huh. So actually, everyone, but maybe you focus on entrepreneur because uh, there is a, a big phenomenon in yeah. uh, Indonesia, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's a very good uh, program. Thank you. So it's uh, you create. That as a solution for mm -hmm. the entrepreneur. Right, sure. But before we go further to the problem of uh, and solutions, of course, we also need to talk more to explain more the background of the program itself. Uh, why should be English for entrepreneur? Oh, yes. Really? Yes. So why should be English for entrepreneur? Because based on the survey, really on the based on the survey of the Harvard Business School. It stated that if the country has more people who are able to master English, the economic conditions of the country will be better than other. Yeah, we'll be growing up, yeah, we'll be growing up than other. Ah, cool. So that's the background why you mm -hmm. create this program. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's very really nice to hear that. So in the next uh, segment, segment, we'll speak deeper again about uh, the, the background, background and the problem and solution. Okay, so yes, we'll come back after yeah. this in the next segment. Thank you.